What's up guys? You already know who this is, but in case you don't, it's the only Ninja Warring Aviators and Superman hat bringing you yet another fight like a superhero here on the Modern Ninja Channel. This time we are continuing our Avatar month that we started this month and we are going over water bending. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Water is the element of change. The people of the Water Tribe are capable of adapting to many things. They have a deep sense of community and love that holds them together through anything. So waterbending is based off of the real life martial arts Tai Chi. It has that uh, smoothness and the flow to it. It has that soft motion uh, that's all in that in the waterbending in the Avatar show. But like I said just a second ago, it is based off of it, based off of being the key phrase there. So it is not exactly the same. It's not a perfect rip. There are some things that are different. And so for this video, I'm going to take you through uh, learning how to understand the fighting style that is waterbending and how to incorporate that into your own fighting style with a couple different moves at the end of this video uh, that'll help you uh, get the hang of and start practicing some basics of it. If you wanna know more, you know, obviously let me know down in the comments and I can always do a part two of any of these videos should you ask for it. Man, I have like a cut on the inside of my lip and it's so difficult to talk, like it's so, so difficult. Anyway, like I said a second ago, Waterbending is peaceful. It is going to be based off of not attacking, not stonewall blocking, but countering and redirecting their own attack back at them. So for an example, a waterbender would take an attack from another waterbender and not stop it, but take it and redirect it back at them instead. So that is gonna be the flow you're gonna to wanna to get. If you don't have a good flow, this is gonna be very difficult for you. You're gonna to have to stay relaxed, you're gonna to wanna to be calm, and you're gonna to wanna to keep your breath under control because getting tense and staying tight is not at all what you're wanting to do. You gotta stay relaxed and calm and flowy. So make sure you keep that in mind whenever you're practicing this. If you're tense, you're doing it wrong, guaranteed. Now as a waterbender, your combinations and your, your techniques are gonna be largely not aggressive. You're not gonna be an aggressive fighter. So when you're taking your water, your stances, your fighting stances and stuff like that, take into account that you're not gonna be pushing that aggressive uh, onslaught. You're gonna be waiting for them to attack you. You're gonna be baiting them in, waiting for them to come at you and then bring it right back at them. So don't get overreactive like don't react too quickly and overreactive in your fighting styles and in your fighting stance. You don't want to jump the gun because this is all about timing. It is incredibly important that you time their attack well so that you can successfully send it back. Otherwise, you're going to mess up and you're gonna get hit. And I'm just gonna tell you, getting hit is not fun. No one wants to get hit. So time it well, focus on timing. You can actually uh, use your use like a partner have them punch at you start practicing while you're in water especially on the swimming pool this is even better have them punch at you that's that water provides some resistance to keep it relatively slow and it allows you to move your body and get used to you moving your body in a way that flows so that you can get your timing right and get your flow right because i'm telling you like water the flow is the most important thing in this fighting style now, honestly, uh, this fighting style is gonna be very intricate in technique. So the techniques are gonna be very detailed. And so we're gonna get into that in just a second. But the, the concept of the fighting style is very simple. You simply, you know, redirect the energy that, co that comes at you. But the way you do that is the hardest part. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the next part of this video where I go through three different water bending techniques that you can do right here in your backyard. So it's starting to rain and I don't want to get my phone wet, so I'm going to have to figure something out. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to wait. I found a spot though, but I'm going to have to wait. That's loud. Alright guys, so I'll have you a little farther back and a little low because you are now out of the rain. At least my phone is now out of the rain, so it's not going to get messed up. 
uh, and you guys are gonna be able to see hopefully all of what I do right now. So uh, actually, hold up, much better, much better. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna imagine someone from this side of the screen is punching at me just like this. So facing them, they're gonna start punching at you. What you wanna do is take your right hand, you can do this on both sides, but right now we're gonna do my right hand and you're going to circle inside just like this keeping the hand nice and open but stiff strong just bang just like that one more time bang blocking so you're going to circle that hand at the same time you're going to thrust your left elbow or arm upper arm forward and take your right foot and step back so you're going to circle forward and step back this will keep that punch blocked from with your arm and with your hand going past you. Now, once you do this, you're going to step back, block, get that nice strong block guiding that punch next to you. Now you're gonna take that arm that should be right about here and you're going to move it out of the way with a big swipe. So one more time, watch. Block, block, move that punch out of the way and step through just like that with that side punch so watch again block block guide the arm away punch right to the solo punches last time one two just like that all right so for the next one we're gonna do a uh, sweep or a throw um, if you've been watching the Combat for Dummies, you might recognize this, but I'm going to do this in this video because for all of you that have not watched Combat for Dummies, this is an excellent uh, water bending technique. So, but if you, you know, if you're not watching Combat for Dummies, definitely go check that out. So, let's get into this. So, what we're going to do is you're going to imagine from someone from this side of the screen is punching at you, and you're going to take your left hand right here and you're going to duck underneath that punch while blocking up, doing that nice strong high block, but with your left hand going above your head. So you're gonna duck under the punch and block above your head. Now, at the same time, this is all a fluid motion. Get that in your mind. You have to be fluid with this. You're gonna get that high block going. You're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna step in between your opponent's legs. One more time, you're gonna Block the punch and step in between your opponent's legs. Now, again, all of this is at the same time. All of this is fluid. So it's gonna be one, and you're gonna shoot your hand between their legs, just like, like right here, on them. <laughs> so, one more time. You're gonna go up, in, and notice how deep I am. I have to be keep my hips underneath my opponent's hips. You're gonna go up, in, and you're going to slide your arms and grab their hand. So you're gonna grab their hand with your left arm, you're going to slide them over your hips, just like that. And this throw is called, well, it's a variation of the fireman's carry, so it allows you to throw someone basically on top of their head. So watch again, block, step, reach, grab, and toss. Again, a lot of steps in there, so watch it slowly if you have to. Block, step, reach, grab, and toss. And this arm, this arm hits them in the groin because, guys, you know this. If you get hit in the groin, you you jump, <laughs> you get off, you get loud in your feet, and that's what you want them to be. You want them to be loud on their feet so you can they can jump into your throw, making it even better. So one more time, slowly, high block, step, reach, and toss. All the way through. There you go. Man, I have recorded this three separate times and I've gotten interrupted by <laughs> three separate people. So let's hope this time it works. Uh, this last one, we're gonna be going over a takedown. This is not a throw or a sweep or anything like that. This is you physically take them to the ground, basically using their own punch energy to take them to the ground. And if you guys are like, if you guys, I don't know if you guys are gonna say this, but if you're like, hey, why aren't you teaching us, you know, kick defenses and other types of defenses? Uh, it's because this is part one, or if you like this video, it can be part one. There can be multiple parts to this video. If you guys want, you just gotta let me know down in the comments which videos you wanna see part two of, and I will get to them. Uh, but 
comments. In order to do that, you gotta tell me and you gotta share this video so other people can tell me. So definitely share if you like this video. But with all that said, like I was talking about earlier, this one's gonna be taking someone to the ground using their own force. Let's go. All right, so what we're gonna do is this is gonna be multiple steps. So I'm gonna tell you step by step and then we're gonna get into the flow to get that uh, nice flow that all waterbenders need. Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording, good. I was uh, almost really sad. Uh, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your right leg and you're going to step just a little bit out of the way on the right side and you're gonna rotate your body sideways so that punch can go right past you. One more time, you're gonna step just a little bit out and you're gonna rotate your body. Now at the same time, you're gonna be doing that inside outside block that we were talking about before with that left hand, except this time you're going to grab their arm with that block. Watch, you're gonna step, rotate, grab, just like that. Step, rotate, grab. Now with your right hand, as soon as you grab, you wanna leave with that punch just to stun them. This is not gonna knock them out. This is not gonna finish the fight. If you're, you're lucky enough to do that, great. Good job for you, but that's not what it's designed for. It is designed to keep their mind off of what you're about to do next. So when you stun them, hit them quickly and then realize, hey, you got a certain amount, a small amount of time, a small window to do your next move. So what you're gonna do is you're going to step out the way, jab them in the face. You're going to grab their collar, grabbing their collar as you grab their uh, wrist. And then you're going to use your hips and sink your weight downward. You're going to sink your weight down as you step back with your left foot, dragging them to the ground, just like that. Watch again. You're going to step out, block, and grab. Jab, grab their collar, step back, and you, with your hips, sink your entire body weight down into the ground. All the way through, it's going to look something like this. Bang, and down. One more time. Bang, and down. All the way through fast. <laughs> and then you can finish them, you can, you know, curb stomp them, you can make them do whatever you want. You can joint lock them, there's a bunch of stuff you can do to finish the fight because, you know, they're on the ground and you are not. You can even just, you know, run away and be safe. It's all up to you. So, I hope you guys liked uh, these techniques. Definitely go out and try them out. Uh, with a partner if you're trying them out with a partner be slow be very careful don't hurt your partner don't hurt each other that's not what these are designed to do well it is but um your this your practicing isn't designed to hurt people it's not supposed to hurt people so uh when you're practicing be very careful and let's get into the last part of this video i am glad it's not raining anymore i was getting wet and i did not like it uh i hope you guys like this video be looking forward for the next um fight like a superhero video for this month there's going to be two this month you're going to get water and earth this month be ready next year is fire and probably chi blocking i think chi blocking but we'll figure that out later uh for now i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did let me know down in the comments and hit a like button definitely share it with your friends if you can i want to see how big i can get this channel because honestly it's kind of fun to do these videos and i wish i had a bigger audience so help me get that i would i would love your help to get there uh also if you have any you know comments or concerns or critiques that you can leave me i'd love to hear those too uh down in the comment section definitely let me know how i can get better at making these videos for you guys because at the end of the day you guys watch them and they're for you so uh definitely let me know if you want me to get better and as far as doing other videos uh about different characters let me know. I have a long list of characters on my computer that I have all saved and ready to go uh, that I'm going to be getting to eventually. But hey, let, maybe if you want me to do like Batman right now, I'll jump ahead to Batman. Or I know one of you, I uh, don't remember who, don't remember your name, but one of you wants me to do Harley Quinn. And don't worry, I haven't ignored you. It's coming. It can't be this month because like I said, it's Avatar month and it can't be next month because that's a special month too. So get ready for that. I'm not gonna tell you yet. I'm, I'm gonna save that for later. But with all that said, how are you doing?
That dude probably thinks I'm crazy right now. I'm just talking to myself, even though I'm not talking to myself, but I kind of am as far as he's concerned. So he probably thinks I'm crazy. Oh, well, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. So l let me know down in the comments <laughs> um, if you want me to do a certain character. I will get to it all as best I can. And I'll let you know about next month's theme uh, here pretty soon. Uh, probably next week. So keep looking out for a video, uh, talking about that and explaining it. Cause I'm excited for it. it's gonna be awesome it's one of my favorite franchises uh, <laughs> ever so uh, I'm really excited about that hope you guys enjoy hope you guys enjoy this channel sorry I talked for such a long time I usually don't talk that long at the end of these videos but I had to I felt like I had to right now so with all that said my name's DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out